I was a kid, I could not wait to get out of Kentucky. I was convinced that Kentucky was in the middle of nowhere, that nobody knew where it was, which uh, all of those feelings were actually affirmed when I went to NYU, because they're like, you're from where? So I, I 18, I moved away, went to New York University for college, and nobody there could pinpoint Kentucky on a map. I worked really hard in high school so that I could get a scholarship to college and get out of town. So, But, I, you know, I moved to New York, and all of a sudden I missed Kentucky. So this is my house where I live in Louisville, Kentucky. This guy mows his lawn all the time. But look, his lawn is so much prettier than mine. Perfect. And I'm the lady who plants tomato plants in the front yard. We also like to ride horses. Well, I didn't really have a horse, so I got the next best thing. Guinness! Come here. Come here, Guinness. Awesome. This is my baby. His name's Guinness. He's three, three and a half. He's um just starting to chill out a bit. Guinness, come here. Okay. Can you sit? Oh, get out of there. Guinness. <laughs> He's a little hyper still. Good boy. Whoa. Right now my friend Erin just came over and she's the one videotaping right now and we're going to go shopping for accoutrements because we're going to a ball tomorrow night which maybe the video camera will come with us to the ball. So we're trying on gloves and we've discovered in the process that people have evolved and that uh, we're a lot larger than our grandmothers. No way. The fingers stop like right there. Ooh, scarves. Oh, one, two, three. Check this out. I used to be able to juggle. George! Hi, George! Should we kiss? Come here, Georgie. George, come on, come on. Georgie, give me a kiss! You're crazy, George. This is George, my brother. He's adopted. He doesn't know it yet, though. We haven't told him. So we're standing here in front of my car. She just saw some of my bumper stickers. Um, I don't have very many causes, but I'm a big fan of the metric system in accordions. And Kinky Friedman for governor of Texas, which why that matters to me, that's a whole other story because I live in Kentucky. And I can't vote in Texas, but oh well. So we're in front of the Air Devils Inn, which is kind of a, bar a biker bar. And my dad works there, and he's just about to get off work. He doesn't know I'm coming. Sometimes I come up after work, but uh, he doesn't know I'm coming tonight, so we're going to go in and surprise him. So I was pursuing my career in New York, not even thinking about Kentucky. Then my mom got breast cancer, and I wanted to quit my job and move home immediately just to be with her, because it was pretty advanced, stage two. And um, she didn't want me to. She said, no, don't move home. You don't want to see me like this. 
she was doing really well, but it was really hard to watch her in increments. You know, you'd see her every three weeks and she'd lose 15 pounds between that. And it was really hard to see. So once she finished her chemo, I couldn't handle being away. I actually moved to Chicago thinking I could still work in TV, but I found myself in Louisville all the time, which ended up being a really cool thing because I started playing music. So we're down at Waterfront Park in Louisville, downtown. This is my mom. She's got her little lay on that says she's a survivor, and we're about to start the walk. You're a survivor. I am. It's my mom. Hello. Hi. How many years? Six. Can I get a hug? Sure, absolutely. God bless. <laughs> What's your name? Congratulations. It's really, really cold today in Louisville, but uh, we're here for a good cause. So we're going to walk, walk, walk. Which way is Nashville? <laughs> So. They told me it was south. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> I started playing music just to do something because I was in town. I didn't work for this TV station anymore. And people started actually to come hear me play music, which I had never really done before. I'd been in the background, but I was singing songs and songs my mom liked and songs I grew up listening to and secretly writing my own songs. So we're here at Churchill Downs, home of the Kentucky Derby, which I hope you've all heard of. And we're at the Hobnobbers Ball, which is the ball I was preparing for this afternoon, which is an awesome benefit show, and I've been hired for free to just stroll around and play accordion and generally make people happy. I got mine, you get yours someday. People see the accordion and they get kind of freaked out, or they think, oh my god, polka. And then they hear country or rockabilly or honky tonk and it's completely different. It usually floors them, which is fun. I like really shocking the audience. I got mine. We say, why do you still teach? You could perform for a living. I really like to teach. So I teach at Mercy Academy, the Catholic Girls High School. These are my Mercy Girls and they rock. I also teach private music lessons. I teach piano. I teach guitar. And obviously I teach my favorite, the accordion. And I also teach swimming lessons at the swimming pool where I swim, where I'm also the gardener. I guess I do a lot of different things. This looks a lot better actually than it did this summer. Hold on, I need my shades. Oh, I started planning all this in April and May. And I was doing a pretty good job of maintaining it. But then in July, I got kind of busy. Uh, I went to Japan, which was pretty awesome. Got divorced. You'd think I could climb this, because something I did this summer, right after I got divorced, was I went to Japan, and I climbed Mount Fuji. All of a sudden, people started asking me to play in their bands, to do piano parts on their records. And I realized that I was having a really fun time. Thank you very much. Hey, Bridget, you want to come and play This is Bridget Kaylin, you guys, and if you have not heard her play, she's uh, very fantastic. Toast we're doing for Bridget Kalen. She's one of the best entertainers in the whole world, if not the whole state. <laughs> There's a difference. Bridget Kalen. Toast to Bourbon, a Kentucky toast, right here to Bridget Kalen. Woo!